Every school day for 10 days, I'm giving you something you can do to kickstart your students' sense of numbers and increase their fluency with mathematics. Welcome to Build Math Minds, the podcast, where fidelity to your students is greater than fidelity to your textbook. I'm your host, Christina Tonnevold, the recovering traditionalist and buildmathminds.com founder, where my mission is to change the way we teach elementary math to our kiddos. So are you ready to start building math minds and not just creating calculators? Let's get started. Over the two weeks of this kickstart, I'm giving you an action step you can take towards building your students' number sense and increasing their fluency with mathematics. Now remember, this doesn't mean your students will magically have number sense and fluency by the end of the two weeks, but we will have kickstarted it and you'll have a roadmap to keep building it throughout the school year. This is day three of the kickstart. So if you haven't started kickstarting your students' number sense, make sure that you go over and get the number sense kickstart checklist. This is the checklist of the 10 things you can do to kickstart number sense this year. If you are already signed up for the kickstart, you should have gotten an email with it. If you aren't signed up, head over to buildmathminds.com slash 10 day dash kickstart. And a reminder, the 10 is 10, the digits 10. And I'll send it over to you. If you have any issues with emails not getting to you, please just email us at info at buildmathminds.com so we can ensure you get everything you need to kickstart number sense this year. Let's get going with day three. In the last episode, it was kind of a long one, I shared the eight number concepts that make up number sense. I promise none of the other ones are gonna be that long. So it's time to decide how, do, how you would like to keep track of what number sense concepts your students have. Yep, today's day three tip is to create a record of what your students understand about numbers. Now today's episode is gonna be short because I want you to spend more time doing than listening to me. If you think that you will keep watch for these concepts, you actually won't. I don't have to tell you, the life of a teacher is, is hectic. If you don't have it written down or have a plan to do something laid out, it doesn't happen. Even the plans we have laid out often go off track. This episode is airing on a Friday on purpose. I don't want you to work over the weekend, but I wanted to give you some time to do it if you'd like. This weekend, I'd like you to think about how you can keep track of whether or not your students have those number sense concepts we discussed in the last episode. Most textbooks are focused on answer getting, so their assessments are all focused on just answer getting and don't tell you anything about what your students actually understand, only what they can do. To ensure you are building your students' understanding of numbers, you need some way to keep track of what they are understanding or not understanding. For those of you who have taken my online PD course about the number sense concepts, you have documents that go in depth on what to watch for with your students, as well as documents to help you keep track of that information. Also, if you're a member of the Build Math Minds PD site, you have access to those documents in the number sense mini course. But for those of you who aren't a part of my paid online PD programs, I don't want to give you those documents because they actually won't make sense to you without the information that comes in the courses and they will be more overwhelming than helpful. So instead, I'm giving you a sample Google Doc that has each of the number sense concepts with a brief description and then five spaces off to the right where you can put students' names at the top and then write notes about what you see in relation to their understanding of these concepts. These observations are not meant to be sitting down one-on-one -on -one with each student. That would be awesome, but who has time to do that? So instead, just listen to student thinking as they discuss how they think about problems. So use this tool or create your own, but whatever tool you use, refer back to the information shared in day two. Decide what concepts you want to dig into and start looking to see if your students have them. I also want you to add some notes of your own to your recording sheet so that you remember what to watch for. For example, if you're gonna use my sample recording sheet in the space for subitizing, it just says 
tell how many without counting. But you can add in more detail that's specific about the types of numbers your students are working with. So like to start the year, you might have something like instantly recognizes one half, one third, and one fourth. And then later in the year, you might print that sheet off again, but change the fractional amounts that you want them to be able to subitize. Also, because this sheet only has space to write down notes about five students, you can print off multiple copies or just focus on five kids during one week and then print off a sheet the next week and make a point of observing five different students and so on until you've observed all your students for these number sense concepts. You get to decide what works best for you and your class of students this year, which again is why I wanted to give you this tip on a Friday so you have some time to think about what you'd like to do starting on Monday. So again, day three's tip is to create a record of what your students understand about numbers. Reminder also, if you have not officially joined us yet for this 10 day number sense kickstart, go to buildmathminds.com slash 10 day dash kickstart to sign up. I'll email you the checklist and the link to the resources page, which is where you will find the Google, to the Google Doc that I reference in this episode. Make sure you are signed up because this is day three and we've got nine other days of tips to help you start the year off with a solid mathematical foundation for your students. That's all for day three and I'll see you back here on Monday for day four.